hours for that bless you. Amen. Amen. We are going to start our service today in the mighty name of our Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. As we are standing, we are going to read the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 22. Oh. Um, My prayer this morning is that each and every one of us today understands finally what adultery is all about. And I'm going to come back to one of the questions that I was asked in Congo, which my brother also asked me this week to clarify to the church. Deuteronomy 22 from verse 22, as we approach the word, may Yahweh Help us. Help us. If a man is caught having intercourse with another man's wife, both of them are to be put to death. In this way, you will get rid of this evil. May Yahweh El Shaddai add blessings to the reading of his word. Receive the greetings from the brothers in various places in the world. Amen. Now I think we can start our service. We just read, someone can read it again. If a man is found lying with the wife of another man, both of them shall die. The man who lay with the woman and the woman, so you shall purge the evil from Israel. The scripture does not say if you find a man and a woman committing adultery, pray for them. It does not say they must go through a process of delivery. If it's true, say amen. amen. The scripture says clearly a man, whether he is married or not, whether he is an old man or a young man, a man who is discovered sleeping with the Bible says another man's wife what are you supposed to do to both of them they should be physically eliminated reason being if they stay there, this man will continue taking other people's 
This woman will continue to go in that life. The scripture says, in this way you will get rid of this evil. So the evil spirit of adultery makes the man and the woman not to be seen by God living anymore. Amen. In the eyes of God, you are already dead. That is the reason why Elohim said to Abimelech, you are a dead Brothers, why am I saying this? It's all because of Genesis chapter 2. Where we read last Sunday, Elohim saying, He made the animals from the ground. They were existing there next to the man. But it was not found. It was not found. Someone who was to be like Adam. Amen. Amen. Then he said, It is not good for this man, this man, this man mm -hmm. to be alone. We have studied that. Yes. I will make who can continue? Yes. For him. Listen carefully. For you to talk about marriage, my sisters. Brothers. The woman must be yours. Amen. The reason why she was made. The reason she was created, she was created to belong only to him. Amen. That's why if another man owns her, joins with her, the essence of marriage is destroyed. I don't know if you're getting this. Yes. According to this scripture, the serpent and Eve were to do what? They were to be killed. That's why when Elohim punished the woman, it was, it was a measure of grace. Amen. Amen. Eve shouted hallelujah because Eve was to be terminated. The Bible says the word of God is the same yesterday. yesterday when there was no Bible. Amen. Yesterday it means even in eternity. Amen. Even when it was not yet written, Amen. it was still the truth. Amen. 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 The measure of grace that made the woman to exist it's only because Elohim was to use her again. Amen. 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 Eve was engaged to Adam. In that time, 
the serpent came and knew her. Physically. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. The same way Miriam was engaged to Joseph. Because Elohim wants to undo. To undo what Satan did. Same structure. Look here. Miriam was visited by the Creator Amen. 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 to fulfill the promise that was given in Genesis chapter 3. The seed of the woman will come Amen. to bruise your head. Everybody say amen. 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 At that time, this pure virgin, Mary, betrothed to Joseph, became pregnant. Amen. Look at the real man in the Bible. When Joseph our brother. This is what Adam was to do also. Joseph, when he realized that his wife was pregnant, and the pregnancy did not come from him, he said, he has said, you and me, I love you too much. Even everyone knows that you are my fiancé. You pack your things. Yourself did not say. Please guide me. Say amen. amen. Yourself knew the Bible. Amen. Yourself did not say. I need to go and consult my pastor. No, I need to go to the church to find out. Yourself acted like this man. Can you listen Amen. Let's come, guys. This brother, I respect him a lot. He came here. He did not even think twice. First of all, he called me. He said, My wife has committed a action. As we say now, I've already removed her from my house. Amen. I said, Brother, it's okay, but you come to church to speak to her. He came. After coming, did you all hear him? Yes. 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 He did not say. Pastor, you know we have children. He's advice me. See that? Yourself right there. Like the son of Abraham. Pack your things. No, she said, I am a virgin. I have not committed adultery. Because this adultery you are accusing me of. Let's go to any hospital. Check. I am still a virgin. He said, I know the law. You cannot be my fiance. And you carry the sin of another man. She said, insisting, I have not committed a dance. When he planned already to divorce her, the man responsible for the pregnancy the man responsible of the pregnancy came to confess to who? to the husband he said 
Joseph, my son, don't fear to take Mary, not my wife, uh -huh. Mary, my wife. your wife. Amen. Remember, Joseph, God cannot see. The pregnancy you see your wife having does not come from any man. Amen. <laughs> Elohim is confessing yes. <laughs> to the husband. Mm. Say, the child she has comes from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yourself heard it clearly in the morning. He said, Miriam, let's go. <laughs> Mary was only Amen. <laughs> realizing yes. what a sudden change. Amen. A confession took place. Amen. She said, my husband, you see that even the God has justified me. Amen. I did not commit adultery. Amen. When a woman does not commit adultery, she can come back to her husband. Amen. 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 That's why if no, no, what are you? Mary, Miriam, because she did not commit a dance, she was sent back to her husband. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. What happens if a woman has committed a dance? Last time I pray, I preach here showing you how the deformation can happen in a woman. Mm -hmm. If you go with her after she has committed the adultery, consequences will be seen in the children. Let me show you in the Bible. Sisters, I'm very happy the young ones are here, even the old ones are here, who have not yet engaged into marriage. The problem is this. Satan always wants to trick, seduce women. If a woman is uh, still a virgin up to the age where she has to start a relationship, Satan says, So you are still a virgin up to now. No. They make you feel bad. The society despises you. Yes. And now to prove to them that you are worthy. You want to start a relationship which is not a marriage. You find a young man who behaves like your husband. But you don't call him husband. You call him who? Boyfriend. But God does not know a boyfriend. Amen. Any man who's called by a woman, boyfriend. his Bible name is a fornicator. Amen. Yes. The only place a woman is supposed to lose her virginity. Take it from me from the Bible. Elohim said, Your desire will be only to your own boyfriend. No. no. Is that what the Bible said? 
He was answering. <laughs> Instead of translating. <laughs> Someone can read. Genesis chapter 3. Verse 16. Yes, somebody. Do the woman he said. Now! This is sisters. Sisters, look at me. All of you look at me. This is the teaching of Elohim to the woman. Kindly master this teaching. To the woman Elohim said, Read. I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. Don't ask us to pray against it. Amen. Even if we fast, <laughs> you will still give birth in pain. pain. Brother Peter. <laughs> Amen. He came to me. <laughs> With his first first pregnancy. <laughs> In his house. <laughs> Brother David praying for my wife. <laughs> the pain is too much. <laughs> my answer then <laughs> remain the same up to now. Amen. I will not pray. Amen. <laughs> How can I pray against the word of God? <laughs> Yes. You will conceive in pain. Okay. What does it mean? I want someone to tell me. You will conceive in pain. And you will give birth in pain. Two pains. Are you with me? Yes. No, brother. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. You will conceive in pain. Okay. Who can explain to me that? Brother Peter. Sorry? Voila! The pain they are talking about conception is because that day. Yes. She is a virgin yes. to start the relationship and when the virginity is broken Amen. Yes. and the pain Amen. she conceives. Yes. Amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. Yeah, thank you also for this program. I don't know if you are getting the Bible. Yes. We are getting it. Now, to deliver also, mm -hmm. another pain comes. Between the two pains, mm -hmm. there is in between turbulences, yes. high blood pressure, mm -hmm. formity. Yes. Say amen. 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 Now, look at the way Elohim regulates that. To the woman he said. Sisters, is that true what I'm saying? All of you say amen. I'm not hearing you. <laughs> Here they become holy. <laughs> say but if you go to the homestead, <laughs> you can hear. That is sister's song. Hypocrisy is not a good thing. Amen. The Bible says in the presence of God, you must shout. Amen. 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 Next time we are going to dance also here. That holiness that seems to be here. No, Amen. We only see brothers. Sisters, sometimes even. But the scripture says dance. Amen. Amen. I will be 
David in this church here. Yeah. Yes. The first one to demonstrate the death. The scripture says, if you believe the truth, dance with all your strength. Amen. Amen. I don't know how you, we will demonstrate. You laugh at me, it's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All dance. Like my friend, Amen. David. Amen. 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 Read. <laughs> to the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. That's why it should be painful. And a woman who has conceived in that pain, she must say, Really, I am your wife. Elohim is saying here, yeah, marry a woman who will feel the pain when she conceives from you. Amen. Amen. How come you come to me? We got married. And I am, I'm not seeing this pain. <laughs> Is Elohim lying? No. 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 Something has happened. happened. Is that true? Yes. yes. Continue. In pain, you shall bring forth children. You will produce life. In pain. Now listen. Your desire. Wait a minute. Whose desire? A woman. Whose desire? Everybody say the woman's desire. The woman's desire. When the woman grows up, the body starts changing. There are some things that are happening in her. Is that true? Yes. It's that time where now the woman started, starts making herself beautiful. She wants some perfume. Some makeups. Sometimes some they change the way of walking. Others they change their English. Even their Swahili. They change. See evil. Yeah. There is something that causes that. When that desire comes, Elohim knows that women will be having feelings, emotions, sentiments, and uh, desires. He is speaking about it here. When that desire comes, look at the word of God. This is where all the boyfriend, girlfriend must be condemned. Amen. Amen. Listen, your desire shall be to your own husband. Everybody clap. Your desire will it be to your own husband. Now, Jay, if the desire of the woman who is married to Adam goes to the serpent or Mr. Avogadro, the marriage definition, the marriage essence, the marriage covenant is broken. Amen. 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 Are you getting this? Yes. Is that clear for everyone? Yes. Adam was not to take her back. Amen. When Adam took 
curl back. Who can tell me what happened? Yes, my brother here. You are always with me in Jivanji. Can you stand up? When Adam takes Eve back, after she has been innocently seduced by the serpent, she carried in her another seed. Exactly. I wish I could take what the way I understand and download in each brother and sister here. I wish it was a software. I could just click bam 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 your name bam 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 download so that you will know that you cannot but if you do Elohim does not change he cursed the earth because of Adam he will curse yours is the scripture what's the difference between Adam's age and Jeremiah's age how many years? Because from Adam to Abraham is 2,000 years. Yes. And from uh, Abraham up to Jesus is 2,000 years. Yes. So more than one, um, 15, 15, 1,500. Years later, Jeremiah says, yes. chapter 3, Amen. verse 1, Amen. if a woman goes away from her husband and becomes another man's wife, Amen. listen, he did not marry her. Yes. He just went with her. Yes. Amen. Because marriage Amen. is to go with a woman. Amen. Amen. Say man. Amen. Marriage is that. Yes. When you ask people questions, why do we marry? Because, because I want to see my children. <laughs> because I want companionship. <laughs> oh, because I want to build a life. <laughs> it's not true. It's not so. Yes. Yes. Women start even drawing their husbands. <laughs> they look at these movies and soapies. They say, My husband will be like this. <laughs> this <laughs> It's a movie. Yeah. He's pretending. Yeah. <laughs> it's not him. Yeah. It's someone's uh, characters that, that he try, he's trying to do. Yes. So in the movie, you must pretend you are the president. <laughs> so you see how Brother Paul acting like a president. <laughs> no, he's not the president. <laughs> Amen. So that if you know you love the character he's playing in the movie as the president, Amen. you are you are dreaming. Amen. Amen. My husband will be here. Who is this man who is laughing in Hollywood nowadays? I don't know. <laughs> Those who are watching uh, Hollywood, <laughs> Brother Paul, you are laughing too much. <laughs> Huh? Who? <laughs> you are not willing to answer. <laughs> so that we know that you are watching this thing. <laughs> it's terrible. My sisters, especially you, don't forget this thing. It's a lifetime gift I'm giving to you. Amen. 
You will thank me if you keep yourself for your husband. You keep yourself away from immorality. You will Amen. thank God. Amen. Amen. You are ready. Read. Your desire. Uh -uh. Jeremiah. Okay. Chapter 3, verse 1. I would like to read it in this Bible version. Ah, I, love, I just thought it's yes. this. From verse 1. Yes, of course. The words of Jeremiah. Listen to me, my brothers and my sisters. The words of Jeremiah. The son of Hilkiah. One of the priests. Who are in ah. Anathoth in the land of what, what Benjamin? Are you <laughs> Jeremiah. Oh, chapter, sorry, sorry. Chapter 3. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> very sorry. <laughs> if a man, if a man, <laughs> divorces his wife, well, if a man separates with his wife, yes. Yes. I can send her away with a letter of divorce. We can have a problem, she goes away. We can have a misunderstanding, she's upset. And she goes home. Anything happens now, the man and the woman are not together. Are you with me? Yes. What happens? And she goes from him. She goes from him. And becomes another man's wife. As she goes, another man takes her. It means she has joined with another man. Amen. She had sexual intercourse with another man. Amen. What is the Bible saying? Will he return to her? Oh. Now, it's a question. Let all, all of us answer. No. Will he return to her? No. No, you are not answering me. You, you are not. Ask the question again. Yes, I'm well. Why do you think the prophet is asking this question? It's because the congregation of Israel, they already have the knowledge. The pastor asked the question. Church, people, yes. if a woman leaves her husband, yes. she becomes another man's wife. Can that man return again to her? Yes. No. 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 The congregation must answer no. by saying, No. Can you really ask guidance here? No. 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 Brother, read here. The same thing here. Look at the church. Courageously, read. The Lord says, yes. If a man divorces his wife and she leaves him and becomes another man's wife, he cannot take her back again. Amen. 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 But read properly, please. He cannot take her back again. Amen. Say amen. 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 Do you think Jeremiah does not know that the forgiveness exists? Well, he knows. He knows. He knows. I can show you where I, Jeremiah is teaching forgiveness. Yes. But he does not put the forgiveness into this subject. Amen. 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 Is that clear? Yes. yes. If a man divorces his wife and she leaves him and becomes another man's wife, he cannot take her back again. Amen. Amen. But Jeremiah, please, give us the reason. Remember, Moshe is the first pastor 
of the word to the congregation of Israel. Amen. He came with the written word. Amen. The first one ever who came with the written word. Amen. Moshe. He had already preached in the book of Genesis. Look at the intelligence of Jeremiah. He says, this would completely defile the land. The Bible does not say it will defile your house. Brother Peter, are you reading with me? It will defile what? The land. Yours says inch. Inch. Mwana inch. Will be also defiled. The government will be defiled. Every tree. The society. The companies. Will be defiled. Your business. Your house. Your home. Your family, your siblings will be defiled. What is on the land? The industries, the men, the women will be defiled. The fish. My wife was showing me the fish we bought a couple weeks ago. You eat a fish. You eat a fish tasteless. <laughs> she was wondering, oh, this is Chinese. I, it's not Chinese. No, no, don't accuse the Chinese. Uh, the land is defiled. have committed adultery. Corruption will not stop. Amen. To stop corruption, you must stop adultery. It kills the world. Amen. Until today, we are suffering this way yes. because of adultery. One woman committed. And our father took her back. We are suffering. Wait a minute. We were not supposed to have this. Yes. You see this? Yes. God did not create us to have this. Adam was not sweating. But when he took back the woman who committed adultery, the scripture says, from now on, you will you do this. To eat. It was not there in the beginning. Amen. Amen. Say powerful amen. Amen. Now, let's take the first case of the changes that occur in a woman after she has been with another man. Numbers chapter 5. Then we'll do the correction quickly. And we go home today. I'm very pleased to see them say he will disappear for a long time. Uh, kindly stand up, brother. Ah, uh, yeah, where shall I place you? The family is okay now? Good, good, good. Numbers chapter 5. I'm going to do the reading. From verse 11. Just do the reading. Eh? I will insist if it's need be. Brother Samuel, you okay? Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm really grateful, bro. This brother, Samuel, and brother Peter, they always send me hair time. Always. Thank you, Kapisa, my brother. 
Sometimes I don't even know how to reply. May Yahweh give you back thousand fold of what you're doing. Amen. You and, and the, many of these brothers here. Amen. Last time we cleared the, the payment of the, the TV run. Amen. Sister Rose sent me that money. We cleared immediately. Amen. Amen. Every time I'm in town here, I don't pay for That brother who sits there, brother Alex, stand up. He always pays for me. Brothers, each and every time you do something for Elohim, don't expect a man to pay you back. Elohim who knows the disposition in your heart. We will bless you. Amen. 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 My brother here, Stephen, when he was in the Jubilee, I only saw it from him. They, because they were every time paid 2,000 as uh, agents for Jubilee. 2,000 shillings for airtime. Whenever they send 2,000 in his phone, he pays the tithe of airtime. I will take two, two, 200 shillings out. Brother, what's wrong with this one? No, 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 it's a type of head. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. But you have go back to your place. Amen. Don't allow Satan to take you off your place. Amen. Amen. I did not ask. Then I'm grateful. Amen. This brother here always pays for my family to go home. Did I ever ask you? Why do you do that? Don't answer that question. <laughs> you think brothers like this Elohim will fail them? No. When you feel something to do for Elohim, come in from your heart. Don't ask. Just do it. Amen. The Lord commanded Moses to give the Israelites the following instructions. It may happen that a man becomes suspicious that his wife is unfaithful to him and has defiled herself by having intercourse with another man. Whoa! Uh. <sighs> The brother is lost. <laughs> we are in verse 11. Yes. Uh, that's why don't, 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 don't translate. Because it's, this one is a very simple English. <laughs> but the man may not be certain. Because or for his wife may have kept it secret. So my wife has committed adultery. She has kept it secret. I don't know. I can't find. This one is beyond me. I have no evidence. Elohim, glory be to him. You have not no clue. How do we have no farm? Elohim who instituted marriage will intervene. Amen. 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 Look, he says there was no witness. She was not caught in act. Or it may happen that a husband becomes suspicious of his wife even though she has not been unfaithful. Two cases. Yes. I suspect she is. Mm -hmm. When I suspect she is, she can be. Yes. Or she cannot. Yes. Is that true? Yes. If she is not, Elohim will justify her. Amen. Amen. Let's read here. This is something sisters should know from A to Z. This is something that men should know 
from A to Z. You must. In either case, the man shall take his wife to the priest. He shall also take the required offering of one kilogram of barley flour. Let me, let me skip all these things. Verse 19. Then the priest, I hope you can read that all of them. Then the priest shall make the woman agree to this oath spoken by the priest. What are we, like me, a priest? What am I going to say? It is also written. Yes. I must not manufacture it. Yes. He says, if you have not committed adultery, you will not be harmed by the curse that this water brings. Amen. Because we are going to take a glass. We are going to pour water inside. We just take that water. You say, sister, hold it. You are going to drink it. Just normal water. That we have prayed for. You will drink this water. If you have not committed that adultery, your body will remain intact. Amen. Amen. What if Elohim did not write this? <laughs> you see in which case we should <laughs> You and me, we are not prophet to see the past and the future. Yeah. He says, but if you have committed adultery, may the Lord make May the Lord make your name a curse among your people. May He curse your genital organs to shrink. As if I I'm saying this with all respect to show you how bad it is for your wife to be known by another man. Amen. Everybody say amen. 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 Do you remember the teaching when we were teaching about adultery? Yes. Did I tell you that the body of the woman changes? Yes. It's here. Now, when it's changed this way, you go with her, the child that will be born Amen. will be affected. Amen. You remember what I told you they told me in Kigali? A man, after hearing me preaching, he said, Pastor, now I have understood why my two children are like this. I have gone to pastors. I have gone to hospitals. We have tried everything. It's not working. Now I understand. Amen. And your stomach will, uh, your uh, and your stomach to swell up. Sometimes you wonder. It's not good health to have a big tummy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Some people think that when you have a big tummy, it means you have, you have money. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, which conception is that? <laughs> Check here, Tungu. <laughs> you are spoken of here. 
with no child. <laughs> and the woman shall respond. I agree. May the Lord do so. And she will take yes. and drink the water. You want us to continue? Yes. Elohim is the same yesterday in the Old Testament, today and forever. Then the priest shall write this curse down and wash the writing off into a bowl of bitter water. Before he makes the woman drink the water, which may then cause her bitter pains, the priest shall take the offering of flour out of the woman's head, hold it out in a uh, in dedication to the Lord and present it on the altar. Why do we have to go through all this process? Who can tell me why? Brother Peter again. Not really. It's that, but not really. We are going through all this process for one simple reason. Yes? Because the woman is not telling us the truth. Yes. If she says, I have committed an action. Will you go through this? No. no. Yes. But when she lies, brother, my prayer for each brother and sister here let us all be like Yona. Amen. The more you lie, the more complicated the Amen. case becomes. Amen. A brother or a sister who lies is not born again. Amen. I, I only discover you lied to me. A brother or a sister, I discover. Yes, I will tell you, Shalom. Sister, shalom. But in my heart, I've already removed you a long time ago. I'm informing you now, so that you know. You will come next time you tell me a story, I will just look at you. Ah, I listen to you. Ah, okay. So, I will not show you that I'm even happy. How can you rejoice with a lie? And the father of lies is who? So you have you have given a domain in your heart, given to Satan, the father of lies. You can sing. You can offer. You can cash. You can even go to the Mount Kenya. In front of God, you are zero. Lying. Is one of the sin that has made the whole world to be the way it is today. Lies. A Christian must fight against lies. Amen. Even the smallest of lies. Fight it. Where were you, brother? Where were you? No, I was just behind him. No, he was in Soweto. But he just said, no, I was just here. You think it's a small sin? Wait, you will see. I'm telling even my children here. You have done something, they say, who did this? Even if that, he will punish you. Tell the truth! Amen. Because when I see the child telling the truth, even the courage of beating him is because he has yes. confessed. Amen. Amen. You are someone. Did you eat the rice? 
Oh, did you take the mandas? No, I did not. You see the mafuta? Oh, the mafuta is here. But he says I did not. At that time, to go film. To remove the spirit of lie. Amen. If you will not be able from home to remove the spirit of lie, sister, brother, you will perish. Amen. You will perish. Amen. A priest should always tell the truth. Amen. That's why it's very difficult for a real Christian to be a, a lawyer. Amen. Amen. A real Christian. Amen. It's difficult for him to be a lawyer. Amen. Because they will tell you. But you tell them the truth. Yes, I did. He will tell you. When we go to court, say you did not do it. You also go. Do you plead guilty? You look at him. He tells you, no, I'm not guilty. So how do you go home? Courageously going home. You lied to them. A servant of God. Do you know that the, 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 the judges here are servants of God? Yes. yes. Even if they will punish you, my son, my daughter, tell the truth. Amen. Elohim, who is the truth, can fight for you. Amen. Amen. Verse 27. If she has committed adultery, I'm jumped. The water will cause her bitter pain. Her stomach will swell up. Her genital organs will shrink. Her name will become a curse among her people. Amen. Amen. Everybody say amen. amen. Do you see why you must not take a bath? Everybody powerfully say amen. Verse 28. But if she is innocent, she will not be harmed and will be able to bear children. Amen. 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 Now check. One more case. Let's take the book of Judges. There was a man. Brothers, are you with me? Yes. Sisters, are you learning? Are we all learning? Brother Awa, is it clear? <laughs> Even the visitors, it's clear. Yes. The moment a married woman goes to be touched by another man, that marriage is uh, finished. You, you pretend to love her more than God. <laughs> you will have children who are deformed. Amen. You will have children who are suffering. Amen. In your heart, you will never have peace. Amen. You will say, this is happening to my child, to my son here, is the result of my decision. Amen. Look, there was one man who was also uh, one woman in the Bible. She was married. She was visited by another man. And this man was God himself. <laughs> Called in the Bible the angel of the covenant. 
the angel of the Lord. He makes this woman the wife of Manoah. The angel says to this woman, you are going to have a child. You must not cut his hair. He's going to be a male child. He's going to be a judge in Israel. Okay? Accept, the moment the woman says, I accept the, the Lord disappeared. Look at the good woman. Immediately she went to disclose it to her husband. Amen. 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 A woman who keeps such things related to that conception, the woman, you keep it away from your husband. Something wrong is already cooking up in you. These things are written for our instructions. Amen. The moment she reached home, my husband, I need to tell you something. I can't hide this from you. Amen. You also don't hide. Amen. We, as the wife of Christ, we cannot hide. Amen. We must tell Christ everything. Amen. Amen. When we come to the Lord, when we come first, we confess everything. Amen. We can't hide anything. Amen. It is called in the Bible confessions. Amen. Ah, you become a good wife. Amen. Elohim will love you. Amen. Christ will love you. Amen. 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 Husband, Amen. love your wife. Amen. Just like Christ Amen. has loved Amen. the church. Amen. And he has given himself entirely for her. Amen. So that he can sanctify her. Amen. Oh, a real husband sanctifies his wife. Amen. Amen. She does not know how to cook. Help her to cook well. Amen. She does not know how to speak well. Help her to speak well. Amen. The husband is also a teacher. Amen. He's also the head of school. Yes. When a woman leaves her family, her school. Mm -hmm. She comes to your house. Yes. You are the professor. Amen. Amen. The headmaster. Yes. Head teacher. Yeah. Class teacher. Yeah. You are the one. Amen. If she fails, you will win. Amen. Yes. Yeah. We come here in the school. Yeah. All the students have failed. Who is the problem? The teacher. The teacher. Why you? You here, you go to a debate. You fail there. They will accuse me. Yes. 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 But I thank Elohim. Elohim has given me brothers and sisters. Of yes. My son, Yohanan, was telling me. He was having a debate with their teacher. Say, no, a teacher, a woman must not preach. The <laughs> teacher wanted to influence him negatively. Eight years old or nine years old. Boy. He stood. It's written in the Bible. <laughs> he came home and he gave me the scripture. I equipped him. He went back. He has the scripture. <laughs> should do too. The brother is going to work, he's been called. Yeah, you go in the first room. Amen. Amen. Equipped. She said to her husband, a man came, a his wife, he told me, I'm going to have a child. You know a man, someone talking to your wife about pregnancy and stuff, uh, you can't feel good. Yes. Immediately the husband man He changed. No. Why is he coming to you? He said, I don't know. Say, I would like to meet that man. He must confess to me. Why is he having this kind of talk with my wife? Because confession. The following day. Because he did not do 
something wrong. Amen. If you are doing something right, you will not be wrong. Amen. Say amen. Amen. He came. Book. The woman said, My husband, he, 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 you must also be able to disclose who was Confession. He said, My friend, what's wrong? Say, I am the angel of the Lord. I was here yesterday with your wife. You are going to have a child. He gave the very same message. If a confession is true, what you confessed yesterday, you will be able to confess it today. Because the first time you did not lie. If you came here, you gave a fast testimony. Remember lies, you can't remember them again. When you will be confessing for the second time, you will forget some details. That way, we get you. Amen. Don't lie. Who did it? It's me. If I'm going to be punished, I will. I deserve it. If it's not me, it's also not me. Now the man says, Ah, so it's true. Huh? The child was born. His name was Samson. Samson grew up. He was a judge in Israel. As he was a judge there, Elohim wanted to punish the, the, the Palestinians. In those days, they were the Philistines. Because it's the same people. If you put A here, a here, A and I here, Na e. what do you have? Palestine. Palestine. But if you put to this, the same people. Yes. They start fighting against Israel. So when they came, they removed this. They removed this. They kept this one. They thought we will not discover them. The Palestinians are the Philistines. Whether you like it or not. Now Elohim had a judge. This judge, what was his name? Samson. He took a wife. Let's read from verse four, chapter 14. I'm showing you a first case, another case of adultery. I'm going to read. One day Samson went down to Timna where he noticed a certain Philistine woman. You okay? He noticed. You can also be a brother here. I'm talking to you, not sister to you. <laughs> if you also noticed here, <laughs> notice. <laughs> it's an ability given to men. Yes. You can. Notice. And when you notice, don't keep quiet. Amen. You will die. Yes. yes. It's not so, brother Emmanuel. <laughs> you can notice also. <laughs> he went back home and said to his father and mother, There is a Philistine woman down in Timna. Who has got my attention? Come and also see your father. Amen. Tell me. Amen. It's my Bible right. Amen. To know when my son wants to get married. Amen. It's not so. So come and want to get married and you, you don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. 
Receive the intelligence, huh? And you. Yes. you have noticed, but you are dying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Speak! Amen. Okay, for that. Amen. But not someone else's wife. Yes. yes. Now, he said, Get her for me. I want to marry her. Say amen. Amen. Marriage is not a private business. Yes. It's a family business. That's why when Adam wanted to get married, his father Elohim knew it. I see my son Adam moving around here. Something. Abraham also saw it. Amen. When he saw Isaac, my son is about to get married. Because the way I see him behaving, why should not take long now? Go and look for a woman. So if Isaac is also here, he does not want to get married. I can become an Isaac. Isaac must marry. Amen. How come you come here? You are working, you have a house, everything is okay. You don't want to get married. It's not good, God the Father. Say, it's not good for this son of mine to be alone. Abraham said the same thing also. Yes. It is not good for Isaac to be alone. Amen. I also have the right to say the same. <laughs> Brother, you say amen. But don't go get the Philistines. <laughs> Your wife must come from here. Amen. Amen. Get a believing wife. Amen. Amen. Marry her for me. But his father and his mother ask him, why do you, why do you have to go to choose Ethan Philistines to get a wife? To go to those Ethan Philistines to get a wife? Can't you find a girl in our own clan here among our own people? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Tom, why are you very serious? Check. But Samson said to his father, "She is the one I want to get. I want you to get for me." I like her. Verse 4. His parents did not know that it was the Lord who was leading Samson to do this because the Lord want, uh, was looking for a chance to fight the Philistines. He went out. It was not his will. Yeah. Can you see that? Yes. You, when you go outside, eat your wind. You, when you go outside, eat your wind. Look at the Bible says. The one gets the woman, he will marry the woman. I know you jump quickly. Then after this, he gave them a riddle. What was the riddle? The brother is not controlling the camera anymore because he's also eating. <laughs> As he was going, he met a lion. He killed the lion. After a few, uh, few times, after the lion was killed, he came some other time to look at the lion. He found that in the lion, honey was formed by the bees. Are you hearing this? Yes. He took it and he ate. He went home. Now the people came to his house. He said to them, If you get to succeed to get this, this riddle, I will give you a price there. I don't know what price. So the man, uh, he said, Out of the eater came something to eat. And out of the strong came something sweet. Now, 
Are you getting it? Yes. It's lion and honey. Yes. Simba and sari. Then he asked his, his uh, brother's brother-in-law. He said, on the seventh day, I will give you the answer. If you succeed, I will give you the price. But if you fail, you, you will give me that price. Agreed. They went to search for the answer. <laughs> Sometimes when people in the world, they ask you question. You as a believer, you answer. But if you ask them, they can't answer. This pastor. They come to Yeshua. They ask Yeshua a question. Yeshua answer them. But when Yeshua asks the question, we have to consult. If we say this, he will get us yet. But if we say also we don't know, and you say, why are you teachers then? Okay, fine. We don't know. Ah. It's here, the Palestinian spirit. <laughs> now, because they failed, they knew that Samson married their sister. Yes. A bad woman mm -hmm. who reveals the secret of her husband mm -hmm. to her family. If you have such a woman, you will think that everything is kept in your house. Yes. So, your neighbors know your situation. The mamamboka knows your situation. The friend of your, your wife knows the situation. If you have this character, you say, my friend, tell your husband to give you the rhythm. If you don't, we will give you. Now, you find your wife now. Look here. You don't love me. You don't tell me the truth. It's not that you don't love her. There is a third party involved in your marriage. You only see now you become weak. Where you going? Oh no, you don't want her. Do you think it's genuine? <laughs> Give us the seventh seal. What is the revelation of the seven tongues? Yeshua said to his wife, Amen. You will not get it. Amen. Until today, yes. we the church of the living God. Do we know the date when Jesus will come back? No. Talk to me. No. How many times people have fasted? How many people, how many times people have cried? Did they know the time Jesus will come? Talk to me, talk to me. No. Do they know? No. So there are things you cannot tell them. And there are things Yeshua will never reveal to us. Amen. Say amen. Say amen. But this woman cried. Samson gave the answer. So now on the seventh day, now they came. Samson, we have the answer. It's the lion. And it's the, the sweet. The he said to them, if you did not trick or cooperate with my wife, you cannot get this answer. The Bible said the Spirit of God came on him. Amen. He went and killed people and took the cloth and brought to them. Very upset. In the meantime, listen carefully. Look here, everybody. When he was doing this, Brother Francis, ah, what's wrong? Yeah, you understand he was working at night. In the meantime, his father said, My son is married to this woman. She said, You, you are the best friend of Samson, my son. Come, come. He took this man. He took the wife of Samson. He said, Samson, he's gone crazy there. You come here. My friend, take her. They went to the bedroom. When Samson came, Let's read it here. We saw chapter 14, where we are. Verse 20. Now let's start from verse 19. Suddenly the power of the Lord made him strong. He went down to Ashkelon, where he killed 30 men, stripped them, and gave their 
find clothes to the man who has sold the riddle. After that, he went back home. Furious about what had happened. Listen, listen to me. Look here, please, bro. Don't, don't read. You just listen to me now. And verse 20, his wife was given to the man that has been his best man at the wedding. What is this? Brother Samuel. I doubt you. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. She was given to another man. Chapter 15, verse 1. Sometime later, Samson went to visit his wife during the wheat harvest. And he took her a young goat. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You are going to visit your wife. You bring her a gift. Mm -hmm. yes. Very happy you are going to your wife. You buy things for her. Listen. He said to his father, I want to go to my wife's room. Brother Jacob, are we together? Was he having the right to see his wife? Yes. But the father. But verse still verse uh, I think uh, chapter fifteen verse one still. But he wouldn't let him go in. Wait a minute. All of you look at me. Yes. The father. Baba knew the truth. Yes. Amen. Because he was a believer. Mm -hmm. He was not a Palestinian. Amen. He was not a Philistine. Amen. The man wants to go to the room of his wife. The father said, I went. I tried to go. Yeah. Why? Let's see here. <laughs> he said to Samson, I really thought that you you hated her. So I gave her to your friend. But look here. But her younger sister is prettier. It's prettier anyway. You can have her instead. Why? Question. Why is that the father is not letting the husband to go back to his wife? <laughs> Whose decision was this? The father. Yes. Was the woman the victim? Yes. First of all, she did not know the truth. Yes. She was who? A Philistine. Yes. An unbeliever. Yes. But bound to Samson. Amen. Even though she did not know the truth, the father who knows the word of God. Amen. He could have never allowed Samson Amen. to go back to his wife. Also here, we will not allow Amen. our brother Stephen Amen. to go back to his wife anymore. Amen. Everybody shout Amen. 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 And I'm like him here, the father. Amen. Amen. Is that clear? Yes. Instead, take another one. Yeah. Amen. 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 What happened? He was very.
furious. Samson said verse 3. This time I am going to I am not going to be responsible for what I do to the Philistines. So he went and caught 300 foxes. Two by two he tied them uh, tail together and put torch um, in the knots. Look, he ties the tails this way. And take, take a motor. Yes. With motor, yeah, he puts there. Yes. He released them. So the fox went to the chambers. Yes. So this one is pulling this way, this one is pulling that way. They go now east and west, a little bit north or south. With that fire, they burn all the chambers. This story was repeated by some sort of by uh, uh, Solomon in the book of Proverbs. Who can tell me why this man is upset? Brother Awa, why do you think Samson is very upset? Can we stand up for courageousness? Yes. Someone has taken his wife, <laughs> not lost, bro. Mm. They take your wife, you will be like this. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 6. <laughs> Let me show you this behavior of, mm. of Samson. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Okay. Psalms, uh, sorry, Proverbs chapter 6. Hey, I also turn it's only the immediately put there. Amen. Ah, Elohim is with us this in this. Amen. Amen. Let's start reading. Actually, let me tell you this one, brothers. The king Shlomo has dedicated two, no, three chapters in the book of Proverbs advising against adultery. It goes chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6. He only talk about don't go to another man's wife. Look what he says in chapter 6. Brother Charles, yes. did you see Samson very upset? Yes. Would he forgive the, the Palestinians? No. No. Now check here. Okay, someone can read from verse 27. Somebody. Can, can a man carry fire next to his chest? And these clothes not to be burned? Huh? No, he can't. Can you be staying with a man whose wife has been taken away and you don't feel the anger of this man? No. no. And they call it what here? Fire. Mm -hmm. Read, bro. Or can one walk on hot coals? Hey. And his feet not be scorched. You will come here. So I am an Indian. I am an Indian. They put my car on the top. They sing. We move courageously. You are the shoes. Which grass? Continue. So is he. So is he who, who goes into his neighbor's wife. Amen. You go to your neighbor's wife. Get ready for what will be following. Amen. Read. None who touches her will go unpunished. Amen. None of those who touch who? The man's wife. Not a woman. Yes. Not just a woman. Yes. 
a woman belonging to someone else. Continue. People do not despise a thief hey. if he steals to, to, to satisfy his appetite when he is hungry. Ah, continue. Hurry up. But if he is caught, he will pay sevenfold. He will give all the goods of his house. He who commits adultery lacks sense. Amen. Say amen. amen. He who does it destroys himself. Amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. Continue. He will get wounds. He will get what? Wounds. Wait. What? Stop. Wait. What? Brother Michael. He will get what? Wounds. Eh? Where? What? I'm stopping so that you, you represent yourself what it is to take somebody else's wife. <coughs> Next time ask me where, I will tell you. Continue. He will get wounds and dishonor, dishonor and his disgrace will not be wiped away. Amen. You will know. Yes. You. You, you, it will not, we will not forget. It's written. Continue. For jealousy hey. makes a man jealous. 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 Of who? The husband. The husband. Yes. Remember the book of Numbers? Yes. Chapter 5? Yes. Jealousy comes to the man. Yes. Who is repeating it here? Amen. A man who is jealous. Is who? Is a man whose wife is suspected to be with another man. A husband is never angrier than when he is jealous. Amen. Continue, bro. And he will not spare when he takes revenge. Amen. 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 Oh, where did he take this one from? Numbers. In the book of Judges. Uh, sorry, Judges. Who in the Bible? The wife was taken and he behaved this way. Amen. The wise man says this one. The husband is never angrier than when he's jealous. His revenge knows no limit. Continue. He will accept no compensation. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. He will refuse take, though. They say, take the wife, the oh, young sister. Mm. Did he take? No. He did not take. Yes. Exactly as it's written here. Yes. Amen. The Old Testament repeats itself. Yes. In the Old Testament. Yes. Chapter 22. <laughs> Chapter 22 of the same book. And I'm closing here. I did not have time to study this one. But I will only read this one that I was taught, and you and me, we are going to correct. Yes. Okay? Yes. So they can tell you tomorrow, oh, Brother Bram said. The prophet said. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we have been enlightened. Amen. 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 Verse 14. <laughs> the mouth of forbidden women. Huh? The mouth of forbidden women. Wait a minute. Who is the woman in the Bible that is forbidden to marry? Simone. Wait a minute. Sisters. 
Open your eyes, please. <laughs> Brothers, there are women who are forbidden. Yes. Yes. She is a woman, like all the other women, but forbidden. Yes. Is who? Somebody's daughter? No. No. Even if you want to say, oh, no, my daughter, my daughter, someone will take her. <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, I've spent money. She went to study in London. She went to a uh, Palestinian. Oh, Tokyo. <laughs> She will come back there, daddy. Yes. Someone. Amen. And that someone is not daddy. Yes. <laughs> now you start thinking how you spend the money to send her to school. <laughs> you are preparing her for me. <laughs> Even if you get upset, I will face you. Amen. Uh, now he's got problems. <laughs> he's thinking about his daughters. Hallelujah! <laughs> 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 <Amen. laughs> yeah. If you have a daughter now, you start looking at the brother. <laughs> I think that brother. Yeah, I think what you want. We will come. Amen. Amen. That's why I'm asking brothers here. Yeah. Notice. You don't notice. <laughs> you don't notice. When you notice, speak also. Yes. Amen. The brother is laughing here. He's also in the, in the list. Yes. Next time I will ask the sisters who are not married yet to stand up. <laughs> so that the brother can notice. <laughs> to notice, is it the same? No. Our father noticed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Yeah. yeah! Talk to me, bro! You <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> see, someone has no problem to protect me! He's even protecting from the party! <laughs> for brothers to be together. Yes. Amen. The anointing comes now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you answer me? Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 We are there. The forbidden women. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> the mouth of forbidden women uh. is a deep pit. It's a deep pit. Mm -hmm. He with whom the Lord is angry will if, fall into it. If, if, if Elohim is not help, loving you, you will commit adultery. Check it. Adultery in my Bible fashion it says this. Adultery is a trap. It catches those with whom the Lord is angry. Say amen. amen. Now look at Deuteronomy chapter 24. I'm showing you this one quickly. If Alpha is married to Bravo. I call this guy always uh, No, ne never mind. <laughs> this is the man. Who is your woman? And this is the woman. Now who you doing? They are married. If it happens that there is a problem. There is a separation. Now the man remains alone here. The woman also leaves the family. There is nothing in between here. Yes. When the woman is here, she got involved with another man. Are you seeing this? Yes. When this occurs, this woman, the Bible says she becomes who here? 
No, sorry, this woman here. Who you this is the man. Who you the you woman is here. This relationship makes this woman what? An adulteress. That is number one. Number two. She is defiled. This any relationship of a married woman with any man makes her an adulteress and her body is defiled. Now listen. Now, he is still here. It happens, they disagree. The man either they separate or the man dies. B is now alone here. Now, the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 24, can Alpha goes back again to her? Answer me, old church. No. Why? Because she is defiled. And if this happens, it will be not only her being defiled, plus the land defiled. Is that clear? Yes. Question. Can, can at any point in time, A, can he try who even think about going back to her to his wife? No. The Bible says uh, no. no. That's why in Matthew chapter 5, someone can go quickly. Matthew chapter 5, verse 32 says what? Part B. Matthew chapter 5, 32, part B says what? And whoever marries a divorced Look woman. at the church, bro. Amen. Look here, we are here. <laughs> Preach to us from here. <laughs> Sister, hurry up, you come back quickly. Okay. We are told here by Jesus in Matthew chapter 5. <laughs> Who is B here? At, at this level, who's B? A divorced woman. Are you all with me? Yes. When she leaves her husband, she's here. She's who? A divorced woman. Everybody say divorced woman. Divorced woman. Jesus says, here, if this man divorces his wife. The wife is now divorced. Let's see how Jesus will call this man. Read. So, and whoever marries a divorced woman. Stop. See, he's marrying who here? A divorced woman. Are you seeing this? Yes. At this level, this relationship. Jesus will call it what? No, not you. You, you are reading Christ. Repeat the reading. As whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Now, what is adultery here? This marriage. Amen. <laughs> Everybody who sees this say amen. amen. Paul says, let's take blue. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. Hurry up, blue. I want to do a Bible correction. Brother, are you tired? So be like me. Okay. Read verse 7. To the so, I this so, sorry, sorry, please, all of you, look at me. Look at me, please. You will read that these scriptures, you know them. Look at me. To the married. To A and B. This married. And B. It says what? I give this church, not I, 
But the Lord. It's Lord what is Lord. written in the Bible in the days Amen. of Paul. Amen. What is this charge? The wife should not separate from her husband. Say amen. 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 Sisters, please say amen. Don't start provocation and things to go out of your marriage. Because you are seeing another man who's got money or he talks very well outside there. Be careful. Now check. If, continue. But if she does. She does. She is here now. Wait a minute. Separated. She is here. Am I correct? Here she is called who? Ah. She is here called a divorced woman. Paul gives us a solution here. Continue. She should remain unmarried. So, she must not have a seed. Amen. Is that clear? <laughs> she must remain single. single. Everybody say single. Single. Must after divorce. Amen. Must Lazima remain single. In this way, the option continue is Who else uh, be reconciled to her husband. I say amen. 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 Not see. Everybody say amen. 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 Romans chapter 7 verse 2. Hey, are we still discussing the same thing here? Yes. Sisters, you don't belong to more than one man. Amen. Once you are married, you go out of that marriage to become another man's wife. Check. Verse 2. For a married woman. Wait a minute. Look here, don't read, look at me. A married woman is bound by law. She is bound to, to her husband. Her husband while he lives. Amen. Amen. As long as who lives? The husband. Everybody says the husband. The husband. I wish I was the one who wrote the Bible. I could change it maybe for some people. <laughs> but I did not write it. I'm only responsible to teach. Continue. This, look, look, here, look here, please, brothers and sisters. But if her husband dies, if the husband dies, she is released from the law of marriage. Now, this law, this law is God. Amen. When do you think a married woman is free to marry another man? Brother Mike. Only when the husband is a now, the husband is not dead. What happens? Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress. She will be called an adulteress. And she lives with another man. Amen. While her husband is alive. Amen. 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 Put your hands for a long time. This law is operating only when the husband is living. She cannot go to, uh, to see. Everybody say amen. amen. Now the prophet Branham says something here. Now I want the church, me or not do the correction. I want the church now who's got this knowledge to do the correction. Are you ready? Yes. Sisters, are you ready to correct? Okay. 
Brother Reed will be so that we can correct. And I'm closing here. Before 30 as it will finish at 12, 12 30, I'm going to go. Home. You know many times in the visions how people come. Women and men, the Holy Spirit digs up them uh, those things that they have done in life. And tell them uh, those things. Uh, tell those things that they have, they have got to do. To do it. No, no, and tell them what they have to do. They say, well, uh, I've already made it right with uh, the Lord. But you owe it to your husband. <laughs> Listen, I've done that visit all, but I've fixed it with God. <laughs> he says, you have to fix it with your husband. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. Good. All to your wife. Go tell them. Say amen. Amen. You have committed adultery. You have done something wrong with your body. Tell your wife. Yes. Because your body belongs to her. Amen. You have done something wrong with your body. Tell him. Your body belongs to him. Up to there, it's correct. Yes. Paragraph is a question and answer in this uh, book. 1964. Now listen carefully to this. Now this person, if she is the one that's guilty, she has done it. She went to her husband. Now, you have to clear yourself, sister. Because between her, you committed adultery against your husband. You went to your husband, your husband, and cleared yourself to your husband. Then you went to the man and the husband and clear yourself there. You are clear. Now listen carefully. If your husband continues to want to live with you, <laughs> the sister has committed adultery. She has fixed with her husband. Up to now, we are okay. Yes. yes. Now the prophet makes this. Say, if now your husband continues to want to live with you, that is up to him. Remember what I told you here 
about uh, the prophet? Who can give me that sentence? Brother Awa, you should remember this sentence very well. If a prophet rises and tells you that this means that and this is this and it is not confirmed here what do you do? what do you do? someone raise the hand yes throw it away Amen. okay let's take this statement here now can it go through? No. No. Sisters, please, I'm not talking to the brother. Sisters, what the prophet said here now. Why are you reducing your voice? What the prophet said here. Can it go through here? All of you say yes or no. Huh? No. Correct. Now someone takes this. The prophet. <laughs> Brother, go and get back to your wife. Mm. You have killed that man. Amen. Amen. Yes. It's not finished. But if he doesn't forgive you. Then that is his own business. <laughs> is it his business? No. no this is Elohim's Amen. business. Amen. Brother Awa, are you okay? Focus. Now. This is what he says here. He did not get the understanding properly. Later on, Elohim came on him. He was to revisit this testament. The seven church ages. <laughs> Published in 1965. Look at the same man, but correcting this one. Brother, be with me. Page 104. This one here, if you want, you can be given free. You just have to come and ask. The books we give them free here. Now I know in answering one question, another one is apt to come up. It has happened to you. You talk to someone, and then when you are talking, he gets another question to what you say. Is that true? Yes. And people ask me, if Eve fell that way, what did Adam do? Because God lays the blame on Adam. That is simple. The word of God is forever settled in heaven. Amen. Amen. Before it was written, yes. it was first of all in heaven. Settled. Amen. A man must marry a woman, and another man must not take his wife. Amen. It was there before even Moses came. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. <laughs> Before one speck of uh, stardust was made, that word, God's law, was there exactly as it is written today. Amen. Amen. Is that true? Yes. Now, the word teaches us that if a woman leaves her husband and does and goes with another man, brother Reed, and goes with another man, she is an adulteress. Amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 Now continue.
continue. And is no longer married. And I have a man. Ah, brother Ted. Read. I do so. If a woman leaves her husband uh -huh. and goes with another man, yes. she is an adulteress. Amen. And is no longer married. And the husband is not to take her back. Amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. If we take this, we bring it here. We need to pass. But the same one said here. The opposite of this. We thank Elohim for this ministry. Yeah. 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 Brother, continue. <laughs> that word was true in Eden. Amen. And it was true when Moses wrote it in the law. Amen. Amen. The word can't change. Amen. 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 Adam took her back. Adam took her back. You feel the pain now. That's why Cain, a deformed creature, the body of Eve was deformed, gave birth to Cain, a murderer. God talks to him and says, where's your brother? I don't even know how he was looking at <laughs> The result of adultery. Amen. Continue, bro. Um, Adam took her back. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Amen. But he did it anyway. Ah, continue. She was a part of him. Ah. And he was willing to take her responsibility ah. upon himself. Ah. He would not let her go. Continue. So he conceived by him. He knew she would. He knew exactly what would happen to the human race. Wait a minute. He took the wife back. Yes. He knew the consequences oh. to the human nature. The children will suffer. The children will suffer. That's why today, you and me in Kenya, in Africa, in the world, xenophobia is dead. Adultery is dead. Who is suffering? The children of Adam. Amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. Continue. And he sold the human race. He sold the human race. Amen. What did he do? He took his wife back. You and me, we are suffering today. And you want to do the same thing? Your human race. Your, your. Your human race, your descendants, Amen. your posterity, will suffer. Amen. Finish. He sold the human race into sin oh. that he might have Eve. Wait a minute. You, you sacrifice your children to get a woman who's defiled back. Now, between these two, which one tells the truth in that point? This one or this one? Yes, yes, yes. Now someone comes. The prophet is the mouth of God. The prophet said, Take your wife back. You love her? Yes, you say, yes, I love you. You have forgiven her? Yes, I've forgiven her. Take your wife back. Take your wife back. You have killed that woman. You have killed that man. Everybody say amen. These are the things that need a man with the spirit to correct with the light of the world. Are you happy? Yes. Can you be really singing joyfully? First yes. John 1. First John chapter 1. And I'm closing here. Kabisa, this time around we go home. Is there anyone who wanted to fix his life today? Maybe the brother Rani will give us. Yes. If you have a report, did you find out? 
We still give you the entire month, next month, to investigate and to get us the report about Diana and who else? Sorry? Audrey. Yes. Diana is also a name you must not give to your daughter. Yes. It's an evil name. It's a, it's a name that most of the time the evil spirit of immorality they come. Up to now, I don't know one single Diana in the entire world. Everywhere I've been in, almost in all African countries, and a, a woman who was called Diana, who is a peaceful, God-loving, God-fearing woman. Difficult because, because the name. Easily they are prostitutes. Easily they commit a You know one Diana, am I correct? Yes. In England. Yes. You know her? Yes. Did she get married in a proper way? Yeah, now you keep quiet. Yes. All right. First John chapter one. The Bible supports the changing of names. Sivo. Abraham. Abraham was changed to Abraham. Abraham. Sarai. Sarai was changed to Sarah. Jacob. Jacob. Who's there behind? Who was Jacob? Jacob. A thief. Yes. <laughs> yes. A child of God. Yes. A thief. Yes. Yeshua, Yeshua told him, yes. you will not be Jacob anymore. You will be Israel. Yeah, to remove the stealing part. <laughs> Amen. Let's read from verse 5. To so make one fear higher. Read for us here. To so make for that. From there. It says what? Now, the message that we have heard from his son and announced is this. Is this. God is light. Amen. Who is God? He's light. God is who? Light. Light. Because God is light, continue. And there is no darkness at all in him. Amen. Amen. In God, is there any darkness? No. no. Good. If then, now, we say that we have fellowship with him. Sisters, we are closing. Don't be uh, distracted now. Brothers, especially behind there, I see brother Nani, your friend is, uh, ah, don't wake up. Read. So, if then, if God is light, and there is no darkness in him, then, if then we say that we have fellowship with him, so, and I say I've got the fellowship with God, yet at the same time, and at the same time, live in the darkness, you are living in darkness. We are wait, 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 wait. You take the pictures of your own body you sent. Late WhatsApp uh, things and immorality. You take videos of yourself. You send it to an immoral guy. That guy also take that immoral, immoral body of his. He pictures and film and send to you. You go to your bathroom. You start misbehaving inside. You go to have a. Uh, uh, people stealing with you. You are making false invoices. <laughs> if you say you are with God, your life is not light. Amen. The Bible says what? <laughs> we are lying both in our words. Uh, you are a uh, lie. 
Say amen. 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 And then? And in our actions. But if we live in the light, just as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another. Amen. Amen. My friend, for you to have a fellowship with me, yes. you need to be light. Like I'm light, Amen. no darkness, no darkness. Amen. We'll have a fellowship. Amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 But if I've got darkness, he is light. Amen. Can we walk together? No. Can we walk together? No. This is where now I want to tell you. We will break up. We will break up with every brother and sister who does not live a life of light. You will collect your things plus your darkness. The door is always open. Follow those who look like you. Amen. Amen. Who's happy? Who has understood the Bible today in a very particular way? Hallelujah. May Yahweh bless you. Stand up. We are going to take it. Amazing. Amen. We can see. Amen. 
Our mind is now open. We can understand. Elohim is calling you now. Amen. If you decide to follow him and be baptized in Jesus' name, raise up your hand. Yeah. Elohim will forgive your sins. Elohim will see you through. Hallelujah! Anyone else who has believed and want to be baptized in Jesus' name, if you are here, the Lord is calling you. Hallelujah! We have another one. Bible says, anyone will feel ashamed of me in public, I will also feel ashamed of you in the kingdom of my father. But if you choose me publicly, I will defend you also publicly. Is there anyone else who is still hesitating? The Lord is calling you now. There may not be any other chance in this regard and in this way. If you have been touched, I'm only talking to those who have believed. Anyone else? Let's pray. Speak to Elohim, don't hear your neighbor. <laughs> Let all of us raise our voice to him, to speak to him. Let's pray. Elohim, we are very grateful. We are really grateful, Lord, for the knowledge of this world. We thank you for what you have shown us, we are very grateful, so that we can still be your student for following your way. Forgive each and every one of us from going astray. But we want to remain humble and uh, back to your word and let your word become part of us for us to become people who follow you. And this we sincerely ask in the mighty name of our Lord Yeshua, Hamashiach. Amen. 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 I'm very tired. May our Shaddai bless you. Amen. I feel you have been touched. Amen. And if the Lord has spoken to you today, do not harden your heart. Like in Masa Meriva in the wilderness. And those who resisted the voice of God, each and every one of them, Carcasses were left in the wilderness. We are happy to know these things, Amen. but let practice them. Amen. Say Amen. Let's sing now. We are going to be